Hey guys, big welcome back. I am pleased to announce I'm back at my buddy Barry's. He's done a uh, total overhaul of his tank, added a bunch of rock, and I'm trying to convince him and his wife to start doing videos, and I'm going to give them a plug so they're going to have a link to their channel because we got great news. This is his wife, Crystal. Say hi. hi. She's shy. Um, this right here behind Crystal is their new 220-gallon um, that they scored for free, so the price was awesome, and uh, they got a what an 85-gallon sump. 80 gallon or whatever um anyhow so what they're gonna do is they're gonna make videos for the whole build building the stand setting it up and everything it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be really cool and i was hoping that uh, some of my uh, awesome subscribers would check out their channel and uh follow along that build um their current tank right here is 120 i believe was it 120 or 140 yeah, no, 120. 120 and um so and they've got it looking really good these are the guys that uh, had lost everything due to the power outage and uh they've they've come a long way since <coughs> and the only thing is they're they're a little shy they don't really uh make too many youtube videos but we're getting them over that and uh because they've done a great job this tank looks really good they at the current moment they have never had to dose anything um but as they're getting the itch to progress into this uh hobby they're uh, going to look into, you know, dosing to maybe get some more advanced corals. Um, so some of the stuff I've given them that's in here, um, I gave them a little frag of finger leather a while back. And I believe I gave you these little guys right yeah. there. There was only two heads on those. There was only two heads. So and that was a couple months ago. Um, gave them the anemones and the clownfish that bites. I doubt you guys <laughs> remember, but he was in my frag tank before and he was the one that really, really bites and you can feel it. But the uh, anemones split a whole bunch of different ways. And I gave them some GSP, so now they've got it there, 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 there. And uh, it's a good grower. Now they're split off the anemone there. They've got some egg cans that actually do really well in their tank compared to mine. My egg cans just never seem that happy. But uh, they got some there. And up there. And their pally garden up there is really nice. I like that. And a lot of zoos. Uh, those ones do really well right there. And that's a nice bunch. I grabbed some of these off them and I've got them in my tank now. And then the big mother colony of them up here as well. Which, what were they? Cheerios? Yeah. Cheerio zoos. They're nice. They're really nice. They are really nice. I like those. And your hammer back there and then a torch. So um you know if you guys want to leave them some comments what we're thinking is because uh, i'm their official uh aficionado for their tank and i've uh, suggested that they go glass bottom um because if i could change my tank today i think that's the way i would just go um so when it is time for my upgrade that's what i'm going to do anyone's got insight or feedback for that go ahead and leave it in the comments and let's um let them know what you think of that but we're figuring glass bottom will uh, would be the way to go because trying to oops we went blurry there trying to put all this crushed gravel into the new tank could release a whole lot of stuff. This has been set up for like two years, mm -hmm. and it's going to be full of uh, you know a lot of fish waste, detritus, and all that. And they could try to rinse it and, and all this, but it's probably just good to go glass bottom. And then they were thinking uh, like my frag tank, anyone that saw it. I run GSP on the bottom, uh, it's like a big lawn, and uh, they could definitely, they could do that because it's a really cool look, and uh, with enough flow on the power heads, it, uh, it stays pretty clean. They, just anyone that wonders, these are their uh, lights, they run LEDs from Lightbug, I believe it was, or something like that. Hobbybug. Hobbybug, Hobbybug on eBay, <coughs> and they're getting great growth with them, so... Um, they're uh, they're definitely a decent light. They look good. Coloration is nice, and uh, that's that. So I wanted to uh, hopefully welcome them to making reef videos. They uh, I've been telling them for a while that they should. So it's Mr. Complex Guy, unless he decides to make a new channel. Maybe it'll be Mrs. Complex Chick or something. And uh, you guys give her a like and tell her to make some videos. Everybody likes it when women make videos. You know that. They really do. So introduce them to your fish or something. Let's try that out. Alright. Um, we have a couple of 
shy fish, she kind of rides. She flies away, really, and she lays in the rocks, but she's right there. Her name is, we named her Dory. Which and one, the, uh, the hippo tang? Yep. Yeah. yeah. And we have this big one. I'm not exactly sure what he is, to be honest with you. Some sort of tang, for sure. We call him Boomer. He's really big. Right there. Anyone knows what he is, you can go ahead and leave it. Uh, maybe Achilles tang or something like that? I'm not sure what I don't he know. is, but we named him Boomer anyways. His tail is like a boomerang, it looks like, so we just named him Boomer. He's pretty cool. These guys, the two orange ones, the one that bites, and the other one, they lay eggs in my tank every hmm, three weeks or so. And you guys are still putting those on crackers and eating them? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. So good, yummy, good. Yeah. Good. The, uh, we actually can't, well, I tried to keep the fry, however, it doesn't really work. It's really hard. No, because everyone else eats them? Well, in the middle of the night they hatch, so I'm not quite... Sure yeah, the what. other fish, the other fish probably eat them. Yeah, uh, they're really hard to take out of the tank because they have, they lay their eggs in the middle of the rocks at the very back where you can't get yeah. them, so you can't get them out anyway. But, uh, these, these black guys, we won them out of coral reef whatever show like one of those there you go yep yeah, friends we won them they were 200 bucks for the pair we won them with ten dollars in the raffle cool they're really like there's two of them somewhere else there's another one has an orange mouth i don't know what now it was uh, your uh your clown there which is the uh, what kind of clown was that skunk a, a skunk clown yeah and now uh, was she some kind of a survivor from something oh yeah she is our zombie fish. She made it through the power outage, right? She made no. She or didn't something. Make it. She made it through the cycling after the. Oh, power outage. the repeated poisonings or something. They yeah, had something problems. Like something that. coming. They bought rock off of Kijiji. That's what it was, and mm. the rock leached something into the tank, killing everything except her. And she was like near death on the bottom or something. Yeah. That's right. And we had one of these clown. I think it was him. We had him. No, that's Somehow the, he paired up with her and she's alive now and I don't know. Mike gave us this. The beautiful anemone and Diane yeah. always says, oh, she wishes <laughs> we could have it, but it's just we had no room for it. She loves that. It's a, that's a really beautiful anemone. It's you know what? home for sure. Yeah. The video does not do that anemone justice. Not at all. Um, it really looks so awesome in person. But, uh, you know, you got to do what's right for your tank and sometimes letting something go is the right thing to do. And it's not really that jerk of an anemone. It doesn't split like these things split all, all the time. The time. Yep. <laughs> yep. This guy, he just stays there. He likes it where he is. But, and, and these are flame uh, flame bubble tip. So flame tip, uh, whatever rose bubble tip, whatever. They're uh, they're really cool. Oh, there's the other one right there in the back. And you got what's that? The clownfish? Yeah, the other yeah. black one. It's got and an he's just hanging mouth, out. So. Yeah. He's he gonna go down to his anemone. Sure, he will. Yeah, he likes them. Anyhow, yeah, the tank looks great. I guess we'll uh, we'll wrap it up there, and um, I'm looking forward to doing updates from my perspective, like kind of as I come down and see them and stuff. But um, I'm really twisting their arm here to get going on doing their own updates because I would enjoy watching it. I don't always get out here, and I would like uh, like to watch it. And I'm sure some of you guys would like to watch it too. And uh, say goodbye, Crystal. Bye. And she's very personable. Don't worry, guys. She's really nice. And Barry, he's off doing whatever. He didn't want to say hi to you guys. So uh, he's just left me here with his wife. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like.